Yeah, Santiago. Settle a little tiff that Kevin and I are having. Let's be honest, Raymond. It's not a tiff. It's a row. And now it's a scene. It's okay, sir. We don't want to get involved in your personal life. It's not personal. It's a math problem. Oh, Pass. Mama. Raymond and I had dinner together last night for the first time in two weeks, thanks to the night shift. And Kevin thought it would be fun to spoil our date with an inane math problem, to which his answer is wrong. Enough foreplay. Let's get to the numbers. It's the Monty Hall problem. Imagine you're on a game show. There are three doors, behind one of which is a car. You're telling it wrong. There are three doors, behind one of which is a car. You pick a door. The host, who knows where the car is, opens a different door, showing you there's nothing behind it. Now the host asks if you'd like to choose the other unopened door, should you do it? No. Yes. It's, it's simple, simple math. math. It doesn't make any sense to switch. The prize is behind one of two doors. It's a 50-50 chance either way. It's two-thirds if you switch, one-third if you don't. The probability locks in when you make the choice. We've been over this eight times. Seven times. Now you can't even do simple addition. Kevin is right. Hmm. You're fired. What? Uh... Good evening, sir. No, it's not. I haven't slept because I've been going over that stupid problem. Now I finally understand Kevin's side. Cool. So it's all better and I never have to hear about math again? Quite the opposite. I know better than ever how incorrect he is. Probability doesn't kick in. Do I have to teach you college-level statistics? I don't know. Do I have to teach you high school statistics? Do I have to teach you eighth grade statistics? Do I have to teach you seventh grade statistics? Do I have to teach you... Now, if you'll excuse me, detectives, I need to leave him a snide voicemail about kindergarten statistics. Okay. We have got to explain this thing to Captain Holt to save their relationship. And you laughed at me when I went to that weekend-long math conference. Because you called it Funky Cats and their feisty stats. That was the name! It was so cool! It was not. Anyway, it's not about the math. They haven't seen each other because of the night shift. They just need a bone. What? Gross! Rosa! Those are our dads! I mean, <laughs> that's not what I think. Captain Dad is just my boss. Wow. Never mind! I'm teaching Father the math! Whatever, Rosa! Is uh, everything okay, Santiago? No, I lost my ring. Did you see where it went? Actually, it's behind one of these three doors. Why don't you pick one? Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. I don't need Monty Hall ruining my place of work, but Monty Hall has already ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. Mm -hmm. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Why did you do that? Dude was pent up. Now he knows. Problem solved. I know you don't want to talk about Monty Hall, but I did contact a math professor. No need, Santiago. It's all good. So the fight with Kevin is over? Yep. Because you understand the math now? Nope. Because you guys... Yep. Knew it. See, what happened is your dad's had sex. Okay, Rosa. 